Hello everyone, and once again, welcome back to the next session of The Crew of the Cosmic Orca. Joined once again by the usual four crewmates, uh, we're going to go ahead and have Emily kick us off as always. Gotta keep the order alive. <laughs> um, I wanted Aster to start, but I'll start. Um, I'm Emily. I play Astrid, um, the scout dropout um, that she's still really upset about. But the fun fact is that she can dance really well. Right on. As we saw last we time. We got to see first thing. <laughs> you did. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, hello, my name is Richard, and I play Commander Kaylin Vess. Um, and his favorite color is seafoam green. <laughs> I love Aww. it. Uh, my name's Trey. I play Esquire Cumberbatch, aka Squid. Uh, fun fact about Squid is he is really bad at team sports, but not too bad at individual sports. Interesting. Nice. And uh, my name is Paul, and I play Asta Tillian the Third. And my fun fact today, which I have not revealed before, is the name of my home world. It is Adoya, and it, this is a agricultural planet that my parents have a lot of influence over. So I grew up on a bit of a rural backwater planet, but it had money. <gasps> nice. Trust a Nepo baby. So you're from a farming <laughs> empire. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That explains a lot. <laughs> And of course, I'm Alex. I'm the guy that runs this game. I've never actually introduced myself at any point. Referee any Alex. I am the referee. Fun uh, fact. I am a snackaholic. Uh, oh, hi, Alex. Alex. Aren't we all? <laughs> I'm also an alcoholic. But no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sober is As cool, As I stare everyone. at the empty whiskey bottle. <laughs> There's one over here too. But <laughs> oh no, this is when we find out. It's fine. We'll have an intervention after. Yeah, it's fine. We got us some time. Anyway, so now that all of our fun introductions are uh, taken care of here, let's go ahead and just get right on into, into the game. So last we left off, you guys are in jump space currently. Uh, you guys, it's been a couple of nights since girls' night. So we needed still, we needed a couple you, nights to recover. Yeah, yes, we absolutely period. did. Uh, unfortunately, the thing that sucks with jump space is that nothing really happens while you're in jump space because you're cut off from the universe. So the rest of your trip through jump space is pretty uneventful. So you guys pop out of jump space before we do that. Yeah, I want to spend some of the trip trying to convince Vasquez to show us what's in the briefcase. <gasps> Uh, yeah, if you want to try that. We're a team now. You, it's, it's no secrets. You got to tell us. It's true. There's no secrets on the Cosmic Orca. I don't have a traveler sheet in front of me currently because naturally I immediately forgot all of the skills. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. I think... Carouse, maybe? Almost maybe broker or something. Or just broker. Yeah, I, uh, trying to make an intelligence broker check. And we're going to say that's a difficulty of 10. Okay. Uh, exactly 10. Okay. Oh, wait, no, 11. Sorry, okay. I can't math. So that is enough. Uh, so finally, she's like, all right, fine. I guess it's fine to show you. So she connects the tables together because one individual section's not enough to hold this gigantic fucking briefcase she has. <laughs> Ooh, really? Oh my god, how is she carrying this? Um, and then what's the four foot long case? She's strong. It's uh, four feet long, oh my goodness. Yeah, and so she, she cracks open the sides and inside this massive weapon is uh, I'll, I'll show you guys a picture of it later, but it's a rapid fire machine gun. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa. So this thing holds 60 rounds of ammunition, has an auto rating of four, and it deals 3D damage. Jeez. It's just like a okay. Gatling gun, basically. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I invited you to girls. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is a heavy weapon just for uh, anyone keeping track at home. And we're all seeing this? You're all seeing it if you want to. Yeah. All right. I would say nice. What's its name? It doesn't have one. <gasps> Well, that it, needs to change. I don't, yeah. I don't name my weapons. A weapons what? have a weapon has to earn its name, right? I mean, it oh. would have earned a name if it was going to have one, but I don't. I don't name my weapons. Vasquez, come on! <laughs> I'll, I'll think of one down the road. 
Cool. We'll see what happens down the line. <laughs> Anyone else need anything to do before? Uh... Mm, I'm, we're mostly just waiting for my new lab supplies. Yeah. So I clean up the lab, get ready for that, and excited to see how this ordering things and picking them up at the next planet works. Yeah. So you guys pop out of jump space. It's pretty much the same thing. You hit up a gas giant, you scoop up some fuel. All hunky-dory fine from there. Uh, and it's like Vasquez said, the name of this planet, by the way, because I did uh, come up with some. The name of this planet is called Zephyrion. Ooh. Zephyrion. I like that one. And it, even though this planet does have a really cool name, unfortunately, Michael's bounty hunter list does not have any bounties on this planet. Nah. Uh, so nothing like that's going to happen here. Uh, but you guys, you know, like she said, they've got a landing pad already reserved for you guys. So you land, no problem whatsoever on the thing. And yeah, your stuff is just kind of like um, in some really big Amazon boxes, basically. Unboxing. Uh, yes. Waiting for you. And yeah, you, you pop it open. The The float table is not floating currently, of course, because no, you, no. you haven't turned it on yet. And your reaction uh, chamber is just, you know, you just set it up wherever you want to in the lab and... If You've it was, it. would the box have just been floating there? It probably would have. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what that one is. So yeah, uh, those are the two things you bought, right? Aster. Yes, yes, that's okay. exactly what I got. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, you guys are on the planet. You can stretch your legs for a little bit. But like I was saying, unfortunately, just this planet doesn't have anything too terrifically exciting occurring on it. So the government seems, I'm mean, Grant on uh, whatever that first planet was you guys were on, Oriasynth. Uh, that place seemed calm too, but, uh, Rami just checks in with the embassy stuff, make sure nothing's going on there. Ariasense recovery is going great. Oh, uh, excellent. All that, so. Should we check in with the authorities and see if Kerry Feinheld, was that his name? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, has been seen in these parts since that was, he was seen most recently at Bambadol, but that was a week ago now. I think it'd be worth asking. It's a good idea. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty easy to find the local authorities, so uh, it's basically just a nice big police station, so what uh, What would you, who would like to be the one to lead the charge? Excuse me, sir. Yeah, we so are, uh, yeah, we're looking for a carry fine held. You know where we can find him? Duh. The only, I mean, there's no one in the prison system with that name currently. Uh, but, I mean, there was a, a close escort vessel that left with a carry on its register. Hmm. Just a carry? Well, a carry fine held. I mean, the same. Oh, carry fine held. Yeah. Where were they going? Why do you need, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need to know that? <laughs> we have reason to believe that he is a member of the Crimson Syndicate and... We are investigating their, basically, their terrorist acts, and we're on his trail. I'm going to need you to make just a flat intelligence roll, please, to see if that is going to be enough to... Is there a per se skill? skill? Mm, it's social? There is, and I do not have it. Oh. I yeah, see it at the very bottom in the middle column, Persuade. Oh, I actually have that. I do have diplom Diplomat. Give that a shot. Try Diplomat. Okay, that just and, and, take away the minus for me. Yeah, yeah Diplomacy so just, and Education. Diplomacy and Education. Oh, Education. Yeah. Okay, so just a flat roll plus one, basically. Okay. Uh, what's my DC? Because I got oh, six. Uh, it was going to be eight. I did not oh. make that. Though. Okay. I don't know who I am. I could be sketchy. You could be. <laughs> Would you uh, like we, to try and push your social standing, your former commanderness in there? Sure. Uh, so yeah, make a social standing. Uh, we'll say flat social standing because your social standing is pretty high from what I remember. So it's just plus one. Okay. Yeah. Do you have this like dip, dip, diplomat or? Yeah, I have or diplomat. I can add that in there too. Okay. Like, look, we're we're really trying to find him. We don't want other people getting hurt, and that is a twelve. Oh nice. goddamn! Uh, Whoa. Like, oh, I'm, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, Commander. Uh, yeah, and so he just does like the other guy did uh, and pops the information on a data card, hands it like this is as far as we know their ship went. So uh, if you plug it into your communicator device, because I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm just going to assume they act like smartphones of today. Mm. So <laughs> it's just going to be easier for me mentally uh, to configure it like that. If you plug it in there, it's still following 
the same path that Michael gave you guys that he guessed they would take mm-hmm. uh, with some little deviations, but it still gives you about four systems out of how many you would need. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Uh, happy, good hunting. Of course. And uh, do you know if there's a gun range in this in the city? Yeah, there is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just, I mean, you just go to the local gun shop. All right, I turn over and I smile at Vasquez. Ooh. <laughs> what? You want to have some fun? <laughs> you know, there's nothing like blowing off some steam at the shooting range. Are you gonna? Are we going in as a contest? <gasps> I wanted to try out. Yeah, I want to. I want to challenge Nameless down there. I want to challenge Vasquez because I have <laughs> an auto rifle. Okay. Uh, Ooh, okay. Can winner fire your gun? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. What cool. The, yeah. Okay. So if you guys want to do a little quick little uh, detour before you guys head back to the ship, it's not that far. You can just take a space Uber or something to get there. Uh, I think I love to think that that's their brand name. Space. Uber. <laughs> <laughs> we've also had Space Amazon, so mm-hmm. now we've, yeah. <laughs> we've and Space Spotify. Oh, that's true. Space Spotify. We've we basically gone full Dragon Ball a bridge with us. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I forgot that was a running bit in that. Show. That was. Uh, so yeah, you guys make it there, and you said you wanted. Now, are you wanting it to be the auto uh, auto rifle versus auto rifle? Do you want her to use? Do you want to be the same gun between the two of you? Oh, that's a good question. I feel like it should be the same gun. Okay. Uh, then she would vote to do because you, none of you were trained in heavy weapons. So using her weapon would be at a horrendous disadvantage for all of you. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but yeah, she has no problem uh, doing it with gun combat. So they're just regular, uh, regular slug weapons. Uh, she even rents. Uh, we're not going to bother making right stats down for this, but basically the whatever pistol you have it's the same thing uh but we're not gonna do like damage or anything because it's a rental so yeah cool uh she basically just asked just so just most number of bullseyes i guess or most yeah. closest uh cl- most closest shots to the target so Perfect. five five shots each okay so uh Let's you, do it you go first because you are technically my employer so <laughs> <laughs> okay so just make five gun combat rolls and every one above eight it's going to be gun combat and dex. Everything okay. above eight is going to count as a success for this. Okay. And then anything below eight, obviously, was not going to count as a success. Okay. So it's just plus one for me. Okay. <laughs> Nine. Okay. That's one. Five. And that's still just one. Twelve. That's, uh, yeah, that's definitely one. <laughs> Nine. That's another one. Wow. Five, four. Okay. Three out of five. That's still pretty good. Pretty good. Nice. Nice shooting. About that. Nice shooting. All right. Same rules for Vasquez. So that is a. That's also that's an eight. So flat eight there. That's a seven, so that's a miss. That is a 13. Dang. That, like, destroyed the target. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that's two ones. <gasps> oh. oh! So the gun jams up on her. Uh, but then you see, oh, actually, let me roll this first. So that this was not a shot. This was her clearing it, and I just rolled a sixteen. Okay. Um, wow. So All right. it was not completely yeah. lightningly quick. Just completely clears the gun before you even realize like what just happened. How did she's uh, got really good stats? And then, uh, sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. So. So final it. shot. Yep. So right now you're actually well. Yeah. It's yeah. two. She's got one she more to tie. to tie. Yes. Yeah, so she might actually lose. You're one up on her right now. Well. But no, uh, you guys are tied. Okay. Right. Well, Ooh. Commander, I'll take that. You are up. I'll take that. So now, do you want to break the tie? 
I think or attempt to. Oh, is it just a one on one first? I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. I want to try Didn't and break the tie. You to try it too. Try oh, I, I did, but no, I like when I just want to watch this now. This Fair is enough. fun. This Fair is enough. fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. Uh, so yeah, if you want to, uh, basically, just one more. Basically, whoever succeeds yes. will win. one more for each. Okay. Whoever gets the higher nine. That's also a nine. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? Doubled <laughs> over time. Sudden death part two. Do you do it again? Okay. Yep. Oh, six. She got a 12. Oh, um, that's oh. Fit. <laughs> Look, oh, A worthy opponent. Astrid, that was excellent shooting, though. Thank you. That was phenomenal. Yeah, how you did know, your styles amazing. differ? Like, you, can what still, to... you can still shoot the gun if you want. No. Oh, yes. my God. You should do it. Yeah, do I want it. to okay. shoot the gun. <laughs> so <laughs> she sets it up on some, like, brackets so that like, it's a little <laughs> more stable. It's an actual mini um, <laughs> Astrid is a tall, linky <laughs> gal, so, so I'm sure she looks kind of funny. V- Vasquez shows you, like, where the trigger is and, like, what to push and everything, and before she doesn't actually like leave she then braces your back <laughs> uh, to yeah. hold you steady as any so good teammate should yeah you are just going to make a flat dex roll to shoot this thing you're going to su- you're going to shoot it no matter what uh but it's going to be at minus three because you don't have any heavy weapons okay so it's, it's just... more just to see what's about to happen to you than anything else. oh no <laughs> this that's is... not disconcerting at all is there and this is the last episode astrid is in <laughs> Ooh, is it... 11 minus 3, wow. so that's 9. 8. 8. eight. Wow. <laughs> so you... Not bad. That's, that's a good. success, though, because it's yeah. just 8 the target, so yeah. you still made the target. Wow. Nice. Um, so even with her, like, you feel like you still need her bracing you behind yeah. yourself? Because this gun's got some kick. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Does this wow. count as like a free week of training towards heavy weapons for Astrid? Oh, well, really the training. problem ah, is because you're already training in something else, right? Yeah. yeah. So, it, it, and you're only like three weeks in, so. Oh, are we, should we, we mark three we, weeks? Uh, yeah, it's just yeah, it should be a three. Okay. okay. So, yeah, it would be, it's five more weeks to get to that. So, by the time that happens, yeah, but she's more than happy to teach you heavy weapons. More of an amuse wow. bouche okay. for doing this in the future. Yep. Yeah. Well, I've impressed her, so nice. All right. at least. Cool. You Goal did. accomplished. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You did impress her quite a bit. Uh, so anything else you guys would like to do before? On the way back to the ship, I wonder if I could, um, I'm excited to do the unboxing, but I want to see if there's any local <laughs> flora that I could sort of take a sample of to play with in my new reaction chamber. Like if I see any different plants about. You go, you mean, the, you're, it's another more advanced city or a planet city kind of thing. But there are some like plant shops you can get like a cactus or something from. Yeah, some succulents would be perfect. <laughs> get a little space cactus. Yes. Yeah, but you can get some like plants, you know, some eucalyptus or whatever. Yeah, I'll see. We're just a, a little a sampling, maybe just, you know, a, a couple different varieties of. You know, 100 credits, you can get whatever you want, basically, as long as it's like normal plants. So. But yes, definitely. If it looks like a succulent that has properties of like lasting longer periods of time with um, without needing watering, that's what I'm looking for. Sure. Okay. We'll say you find that. Nice. I, any, any I'd like else? to take advantage of this ordering system. Um, can I order an intellect for my computer? Sure. Excellent. Wow. I'm going to go a little crazy on this. And I want to do I want to do what, what we talked about where I'm going to do the, uh, the intellect the- with the intelligence interface. And the digital friend. Sure. Yeah. You can get that stuff. A digital friend? Yes. Oh. <laughs> the picture for it in the book's actually really it's fucking adorable. cute, too. I want to see. Oh. That's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. I want that to be, like, very similar. Like, it's just a little icon that pops up. Yeah. No, that's not a problem. And Sweet. then, uh. I'll mark off that. Because I think it's, it's, I'm going to do the, um. That's a oh, pen. Thank you. I'm going to do. I think that so the intellect can run uh, expert packages as well. I think so. Um, so I'm probably going to start doing those as well. But yeah. Oh, but these are like really cheap. So I'll have to let you know which one of those I'll get. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the uh, intellect two for 50,000. 
Yeah. Whoa, big spender. And then the uh, interface is only a hundred, and the friend is uh, seventeen fifty. Okay, yeah, you have you have the cash for it. Sweet. So. Uh, I'll let you write that stuff down. Anyone else things they want to do before they take off? I need to like research what I can what I can buy. Shopping is fun. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, you can always make an order and put it on the next planet and stuff like that. We'll say you're, we'll, yeah, we'll just yeah, kind of handle we'll that so that way we don't, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> we can keep everything for Did you one. save the um, paper target from your competition? It's a trophy. <gasps> I did, yes. <laughs> I went over and peeled it off yeah. and folded it up and put Absolutely. it in my pocket. Absolutely. Vas- you do notice that Vasquez takes hers as well. Oh, so. nice. Bonding. Nice. Nice. Bonding. Okay. Yeah. Power so. of Girls Night. <laughs> Anyone? Everyone? Else, everyone else? Good. 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 Cool. All right. So you guys leave. Uh, you're following the planet, and like most solar systems, you know, there's more than one gas giant. And as you are flying, as you're flying uh, to get to the rim, so you can get in jump space. Uh, someone make, if you have sensors, I need someone to make a sense. It's going to be electronics. No matter what, if you have sensors, you'll be the one to do it. Uh, mm. but it will be electronics or intelligence sensor role. I am currently training in sensors, but okay. we're not done but with that. You have electronics, so you're okay. So whoever wants to roll for it, at least you get, sure, there's no get penalty. It. Yeah, you it's got probably it. realistic for a squid to be the one. Yeah. Uh, Difficulty is going to be, uh six on this okay well it's seven on the die is it is it uh intellect yes all right so it's gonna be nine total perfect um there is a ship coming towards you guys and oh, and no. not just like like it heading the same way you're on the same plane okay because like, commander we got company 3D. are they in healing range uh they are i get in the gunner seat just in case sure I open a channel to see if they hail us. Turret. They do not respond. <gasps> We're not close enough to jump, right? No, you got... We still got ways to go? Yeah, like another day before you get there. So can you remind me what the um, engineer maneuver... So oh, engineer maneuver drive, so there's some things you can do with that. Um, like you can overdrive the maneuver drive, basically, to make it generate more thrust if need be. I um, can I start doing that? Mm-hmm. Just in case. You can, yeah, so you can um, make the uh, maneuver drive uh, education roll. Okay. Difficulty of eight. Uh, Fourteen. Oh, <laughs> wow. Um, so that's what, so you've got it prepped and ready to go. So all you have to do is literally just push a button and it will be able to, uh, to be overdriven and... If we need to move be quickly, let me know. Okay. Fantastic for that. Well, they're just coming towards us. Uh, like, are Better they going fast? Yeah, they're hauling ass. Okay, so they're um, like trying to, it seems like they're trying to hit us. Well, they're trying to level the plane. They're, they're being trying aggressive, to level it with For you. sure. Yeah. Oh, they're being aggressive? Uh, I'm probably down in the lab. Are you guys alerting the ship to any of this or? Oh yeah, we'll we'll, we'll put a yellow alert so the whole <laughs> so like the it. the whole ship knows like some. Okay. Some we have an in. additional gunner now because we have two gun stations. Yeah, I forgot about Vasquez. Yeah, and I just remembered I'm the pilot, so I get out of the gu- the <laughs> turret and I go to the pilot seat. <laughs> Your call, Squid. Should we go to an uh, evasive maneuvers? Yes. All right, make another uh, sensor intel- intelligence roll or education roll. I mean, sorry, sure. it'll be a little bit better for you. Uh, not as good. Um, did you say intellect or intelligent? Or, uh, education. Uh, education. Okay. So, um, uh, eight. Okay, that's more than enough. The ship is starting to match where you're going. They're absolutely and, following us. Like it's locked on. And, and then dog fighting us. Coming at us yeah. from the front? Did they seem like they were coming from the planet we just left? Or no, they, they were coming the other way. Okay. Like they were waiting in this spot specifically. Fun. Do I recognize the ship or anything about uh, the, the sensor ship? rings? It tells you it is a free trader, which is just kind of your bog standard like ship in the traveler universe. They're the little freighters that go from Can we uh, plant to plant. They're hundred or two hundred ton ships. Visibly see them on the viewfinder. 
Uh, with a little bit of zoom zooming in, yeah. And it's there doesn't seem to be any uh, markings on it or anything like that, showcasing anything. And that is when the sensor roll also shows you that there is now you're close enough for this. There is a weapons lock on you. Yep. So Astrid, because you're in the pilot seat, I yeah. need you to make me a de <laughs> Dex and pilot roll, please. Can I assist her by hitting that button? <laughs> uh, it's not going to help for this. Okay. So I just have a zero in pilot. That's so. Right. so it means there's no penalty. Okay. So it's just going to be Dex and pilot. Five. <laughs> you guys get hit. Direct no. hit no. by a laser blast. Uh, All together. Do we, ha do we have laser? For the audience, we all We've shook been in hit. our seats. Oh, oh, oh. I open a channel. <laughs> Again? Okay. And hail them. Well, I wanted to see if they yeah. would talk to us first. Uh, they still don't answer. Well, I say this is Commander Kalen Vess of the Cosmic Orca. Please state why you just opened fire on our vessel. Uh, they're going to shoot you again. Oh, my. We you can to, return fire. We need by to the shoot way. back. Yeah. We'll <laughs> Red alert. Can that, that hit misses you, though, by a fucking country mile. <laughs> country mile. Can I so. shoot while I'm in the pilot seat? Or do I have to run back and forth? I can take over the pilot seat if you need me to. Please. All right, I'll yeah, switch in can, with her. Yeah, okay. But you guys just you change your terminal yeah. to be. Take so the you gun don't station. Like, you don't have to physically move anywhere. Your screen just changes. Oh, perfect. Uh, so yeah, make a uh, turret plus dex roll, please. If no one's told Vasquez, we, I'd send that to her communicator. Four. <laughs> No. That's what you get for wasting all those rolls yes. earlier. Uh, I know. <laughs> Last game, too, you were rolling all the 12s. I you know. Were, I mean, you do well, shoot back, but, I mean, you don't. You miss, unfortunately. Well, at least they know it we're serious. It too, by the way. So, okay, I don't need to make no. a roll for the pilot. Uh, not yet. Did Vasquez get a chance to shoot yet? Vasquez does not have gunner. Why? But you do, don't you? She's a marine. Uh, I have gun combat. I don't have gunner. She was a ground combat marine. The, the, the uh, captain does. You, you have, have gunner, Kayla? I have gunner. You could take the other but station. You can take a I shot. I also have a remote ops. I'm trying to see if that can do anything in this situation. Uh, you can be used for repair drones, because I know you have some of those on your ship. We so, do. Okay. Yeah, so you can use. You can just do re uh, intelligence remote ops. I'll fire first, because our... Sure. our our ship is not terribly damaged. Just one hit. No, you just yeah. took a little bit of damage. Yeah, no, I'll go ahead and fire. Okay. Uh, turret and dex, please. Um, while I fire, can I say something in the hail? Yeah. Uh, cease fire now, or we'll be forced to blast your ship into smithereens. This is a warning shot. And I got a... <laughs> Direct hit. I got a 10. Yeah, nice. it. Uh, just roll because you guys, because uh, I never actually said completely what your weapons were. So go ahead and just roll 2d6 for me. Oh, this is the first time we've hit them. Seven. Okay. So let's get you trying something here. Captain, that's not what a warning shot is. But <laughs> that's, really no, that's, good. that's what it is. But good shooting. Great. Um, they have been warned. Go ahead. Give me that pilot next roll real quick. Okay. Uh, not uh, not great, uh, but not bad. Eight. Okay. Um, he, it's better. They did oh, no, excuse me, seven. They did a bit better than you, so. Yeah. Who would, who would be after us? I guess the Crimson Syndicate? So, we didn't well, they were actively they didn't following a, them. They didn't have a signal, or they didn't have a... A, a, a drug a, cartel, maybe, from not, Bambador? Oh, yeah, maybe. Could have been them. How big were they? <gasps> How would they know? No we one's gonna we know. We don't have the phone. <laughs> <laughs> the How would they know? <laughs> <laughs> so this hit was actually kind of bad. Um, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Time for those robots. <laughs> your uh, jump drive took a hit. Actually. Oh no. no, that's bad. Then uh, does our ship have HP that we are monitoring? Yeah, I've got it right okay, over here. Okay, I'm okay. keeping track. It's like maybe Squid can pull that up on his monitor, right? <laughs> And then make another sensors roll for me, please. Sure. Still education. Oh, not great. Um, that's, that's, I forget I have such a good modifier for this. Uh, eight. Okay. 
this is probably we need to push the button because there is a missile coming at you guys right. now mm. too. Let's get out of here. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm gonna roll for the missile real quick too. Well, that's just maneuvering. That's not yep. um, jump drive. Well, yeah, right. they're they're like different drives. So. All right. So when you push the button to get the overdrive going on the maneuvering. So it's an extra plus one. So it does. Yeah. So you're able basically because your ship only moves at a speed of one. Now it moves at a speed of two. Um, so but the rocket does seem to be following you guys. Oh, yeah. fun. Okay. So does it look like we could fire? Yeah. On it? Yeah. yeah. So it's, well, a, I think it's a much shoot harder, the rocket down. It's a harder target, of course, because it's tiny. Uh, go ahead. Uh, whoever wants to try Maybe and both. destroy it. Yeah. Uh, if you guys both want to try and destroy it, make just a turret. Uh, dex rolls. Difficulty's gonna be 10 for this, though. Because it's a little Short target. Dex. We're both gonna do it? Mm-hmm. Did not hit. For okay. one. Nine? Ah! Ah! Almost. Uh, it whiffs it a little bit. You can see the laser, like, streaked like it grazed it, and so the rocket does a fun little spin, but it doesn't, uh... <laughs> <laughs> doesn't knock it, it off course. Doesn't knock it off course. It seems to be tracking you, and the far trader is still, like, keeping... Yeah, in line with you guys. Who's in the pilot seat right now? I am right now. Cause like, is, is there any debris in the area? Can we intercept? Yeah, I could try to fly and get something in between us. Space debris. Space Classic. debris. <laughs> uh, go ahead. You're gonna make a dex pilot roll. Difficulty right, of ten. Because there's always just a flat around. roll plus one, basically. Okay. Uh, nine. Mm. <laughs> And unfortunately, even with the burst of speed that the maneuver drive I don't get gave a plus you, one for that because that would make it ten. Well, that's that's just, <laughs> that's just movement. That's not yes, a, that's yes, not to the I know, I know, I know. Uh, the I rocket know. does catch up, unfortunately. No, we okay. can't take any oh more. Oh my hits. gosh, our precious orca. Well, I mean, your ship's still safe. You have 160 hit points for the ship, so I mean. Okay. We're not uh, floating in the vacuum of space. But the, no, but what if we can't <laughs> jump? Like, but the yeah, paint can't, job. Can't, can't get away. However, your jump drive took another hit. Oh, yeah. geez. And so they don't want us to go anywhere. Your jump drive is disabled. Does it look like they're targeting the jump drive specifically? You would think at this point, yeah, that they're clearly hitting. They're trying to get it, prevent us from leaving. Be. Yeah. And uh, now the ship is hailing you. <gasps> All right. Open a channel. <laughs> All right, so in real dramatic fashion, because you know your ship's been, you know, been hit a few times. So yeah, you got yeah, yeah. You got the Star Trek steam and someone has a down hair and, down their forehead. Like yeah. A, a loose. Yeah. somehow your shirt is open. Uh, <laughs> really sure <laughs> and uh, your 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 view screen is fizzling a little bit because it's going to be video <laughs> communication. And then as the view screen comes to life all the way, you see the face of a man you haven't seen in probably 20 something years. Your father. Jackson. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you haven't seen him for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know who this is. Jackson. It's the mutiny guy. It is the face of Saul Acradius, your former commanding officer <gasps> that you sent to prison. Oh. Well, if, is it, if it isn't Saul Acradius. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, see you, I see you haven't lost your wit, Kaylin. What is this? I'm here to enact my vengeance. I've got people on board that have nothing to do with this. They're why just, don't why don't they're just collateral damage at this point? Y you while well, you're actually no you because you're busy. You <laughs> make a um Make an intelligence roll, just a flat intelligence roll. Difficulty is only going to be f electronics and intelligence roll. Do you have computer? No, you have computer. Yes. So you're going to help with this. Okay. So both of you make it, uh, intelligence computer rolls, please. Okay. And we're going to combine your results together. And Ooh. minus three? Four. Uh, <laughs> well, she has electronics, so it's fine. Oh, okay. Uh... He's the one we're relying on. Perfect. Okay. So with your roles put together, um, while he's talking to Saul, you do realize that Kyle left you guys an extra present, which is your own 
missile, just kind of a single retaliatory missile to fire in situations uh, like this. Kyle. <laughs> and you've maneuvered close enough together now that you'd be able to shoot the rocket off. I look over at Astrid. But there is a catch. Oh, they're, they're too close. close. You're close together, but yeah. you are pretty sure that the shockwave will be less damaging to you than it will be then to direct him. impact, sure. Uh, I think a risk assessment says that we should do this. Okay. We're, we're on the viewfinder, though, so he, so he can see us. Go, well, he just... Do it wordlessly. And that's what I'm saying is I just kind of look over at her and like. (laughs) Yeah, I'm like. But let's continue our conversation. Uh. (laughs) The crew of the Cosmic Orca, apart from me, have nothing to do with our debacle. Let's settle this the old way. Why don't you board the ship and we'll duke it out one on one. It's a tempting offer. It's a tempting offer. How about we just dock? You come to my ship and we'll duke it out over here. Can't have that. Last, mm. I remember you had a mutiny. How about this then? Mm. Neutral ground, planet side. You, me, and a cutlass. Mm. Nah, that's too messy for my taste. I think we'll just, uh, we'll just end this here and now. Uh, who wants to make the turret roll, please? Me. Make that dex turret roll. <laughs> okay. Six. That is actually going to be enough for this because you're close enough okay, together. Okay. So, yeah, the rocket just kind of goes out. Actually, someone, uh, I'll just roll, I have enough dice, so I'll just do it. The damage. <laughs> Shit, you guys did good. <laughs> um, so, as you're talking and you have no idea your crew was doing this, uh, the, rocket, <laughs> the rocket hits his ship uh, and it deals a pretty hefty chunk of damage to it. Oh, God. I like shoot a glance over at Commander. <laughs> okay. So you're talking to him and he's clearly giving the order to, you know, just pummel your ship into oblivion. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you see the explosion <laughs> occur, mm-hmm. what uh, just his, happened? his view screen cuts out because, you know, the ship just got rocked by that. You guys do take a little bit more damage. You guys take a lot bit more damage. <laughs> I know. But, uh, <laughs> so. um, but is gravity pulling us apart now? No. Uh, okay. Their ship, I mean, it took a good hit, but it wasn't like their ship. You just didn't damage their ship as much as yours got damaged. Um, so it cuts out and you can see in the view screen that the ship, um, it's got the dramatic, you know, sparks going off of it. Somehow there's fire coming off of mm-hmm. it in space. In space. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> space fire. And uh, it actually just pops a quick 180 and it just starts flying away from you guys. <laughs> oh, they're, they're leaving us. Wow. Um, you guys' maneuver drive took a hit, though, uh, mm-hmm. in that explosion. Uh, so, so we have no jump drive and no maneuver drive. Well, you have the maneuvering drive. Okay, uh, it just is not. And plus, with the overdrive that happened to it, yeah, uh, your maneuver drive is fixable, but it's you can't get back because you were probably traveling for a full day, your normal speed, okay. and you're significantly less than that speed now. Uh, so, but fortunately, there is a colony nearby on one of these gas giants' moons because it's the future. Of course, there's moon colonies. It's not the. Yeah, it's not sci-fi sense. without a good moon colony. Are they moving too fast for us? For you guys now, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Maybe a few people. Yeah, it's like, can we try to take them off? I was gonna say, it's up to you all. You guys can make a pot shot while they're running away if you, you want could to. You can do two more but, laser beams. Yeah, you guys those. can try two more little laser beams. Yeah. Let's do it. To. Snip what? it in the bud. <laughs> okay. And don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Go on, you, now get. Go on, take, get. You want to take the first one? Yes. <laughs> All right, the uh, Dex Gunner 2D6. Ooh. There it is. Well, I can't math. 11, 12. Okay. I mean, yep. that's a hit. Go ahead and just roll 2D6 for damage. Yep. I'll make my roll. Nine. Okay. That's a good hit to it. That is good. I got a 12. Okay. Roll 2d6 for damage. A (laughs) 4. Yeah. Didn't do quite as much damage to it uh, as it did to you, but, you know, it's just that's life. Uh, It's still going to be faster than you. uh, Okay. Just because of, clearly it's a slightly modified free trader. It was able to move a bit faster than normal free traders were, but you, you scared them off, basically. Uh, Captain, where should I take us? We're, we're basically bleeding out at this point. Yep. <laughs> there is a convenient moon colony here, so... 
Let's Shit. let's head to that moon colony right. and repair it. And first and foremost, folks, crew, I'm very sorry that the past came to creep up and put you all in danger like that. Uh, yes, yeah, who was that guy? Yeah. He led a mutiny on one of my ships back in the naval days. He failed and was sent to prison. I actually have no idea how he got out. Do you know how he found us? Or found you specifically? No. How would he even know you were part of the Cosmic Orca? I have no idea, but that's something we're going to find out. And why does he blame you for this imprisonment? Oh, he let a mutiny in my ship, and I put him in prison. Ah, so you stopped it. <laughs> I, I definitely, yeah, yeah, that, that's on me for doing the right thing, I guess, but... Well, we stand with you, so it was, you know... Also, also, who launched that rocket? That was amazing. I thought we were about to die. That was me, but Squid gave me the idea. Oh, you took the shot. Great idea. <laughs> I didn't even know we had Great that idea. rocket. <laughs> you saved this ship, and thank you so much. You're welcome. And fortunately, no hull breaches, so. No, but the yeah. jump drive is not yes. dead. and your maneuver drive yeah. is yeah. sad. Um, so it'll take us a bit to get to that moon colony. Okay. Well, the moon colony is conveniently close enough by. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're still, still like hours. puttering along. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're still kind of like, <laughs> but um, no. So when you guys approach, the standard thing that's been happening every time you've gone anywhere with the space station is you're usually hailed, mm -hmm. get the registry number and all that stuff done. That that doesn't happen this time. Suspicious. No we just land. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you can see that the docking port is there. There's open bays and everything like that, but there doesn't seem to be any activity. Um, I mean, can I open a channel and say, this is Commander Kalen Vess of the Cosmic Orca requesting permission to land. You are greeted with silence. Do, mm. Are our sensors sophisticated enough that we can detect how like activity? Not yet. Okay. Um, Maybe. This so. feels are there, a are there other weird. ships docked? There's ships down there, yeah. Oh. yeah but none of like them, a, yeah. no motion? No motion. There's lights and stuff on, though. Mm. Oh. This feels a little I'm Having flashbacks to the I zombie mean, body. Same. same. <laughs> Don't like this, but we have very little options. Maybe we can just land and we don't have to leave the bay. Yes, you can get your little robots suits? out. Hmm? Do we have vac suits? Uh, well, as far as you can tell, like you're probably not going to need them. Uh, the just, just curious. You do have them, yeah. Okay. You, you okay. have them. Just well, that's land, curious. I think. Sure. All right, I'll pull into but, the bay. Yeah, Keep so you, your you eyes land. peeled. Uh, yeah, so there's you land in there, no problem whatsoever. And yeah, there's no one comes out. There's no, there's nothing happening. So if you want to, well, in the meantime, though, while you guys are trying to figure out your situation, mm. uh, go ahead. I want you to make an engineer jump drive education mm. roll, please. Sorry, and then you can do an intelligence uh, remote ops to at least oh. get the damage from the drones going. That's a double one. Oh. Oh. What's your total, though? Uh, jump drive? Four, six. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Uh, remember, remember, traveler oh, does not have okay. traveler does not have natural critical fails. Okay, mm. so I didn't know that. Well, no. so it's rem ops and well, intelligence, intelligence. Yep, for the repair drones to get them rolling. As a fourteen. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, oh, they're, they're repairing. They're they're chittering away and they're yeah. repairing all that superficial Love damage it. to the hole. Cute. Uh, when they get to the maneuver drive, though, that is going to take some time for that to get fixed. You have the raw components to fix that, though, on the ship. We'll just say you had that laying around because why not? The jump drive, which is what you were looking for, does you don't have the components to fix that here on the ship, but you would assume that this place would have, you know, it's a remote moon station. It would most likely have the parts somewhere for uh, to purchase if someone were around to purchase them from. We're going to have, I'm going to have to at least deboard to go look for somebody that can give us the parts that we need to fix this up. Cool. A landing party it is. Uh, can, right. the, can the robots? They'll they work independent. Yeah. They you, work, okay, yeah, great, you, great, you, great. You'll just say you have like your, you'll just pull out your phone. It's like a ring door camera thing. You'll pull I your phone it. out to watch <laughs> it. Like <laughs> skidding around, you know, looking mm -hmm. at stuff. Do we all need to go? Not necessarily, but. Because I feel like somebody should watch a ship. We should. Vasquez is here. Yeah, I was so gonna we, say, why don't we leave Vasquez? Vasquez and Rami can stay on the ship. Okay. 
Vasquez will keep Rami safe. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, I trust that. He can oversee the repairs, perhaps. He can look at them. Oh. I mean, he doesn't have. To he can just for keep that, track but... of the R two D two and make yeah. sure they're doing the right things. <laughs> yeah, he can do that. Can we? I couldn't remember from last time. I erased flak jacket. Can I wear a cloth jacket, flak jacket, and a diplo shirt? I thought we said the diplo shirt worked with one, yeah, but the, not both. Of yeah, them. Maybe so, I think yeah, that's why. That's why I erased it. Much. Okay, yeah. I'm going to erase diplo flak jacket. Again. It's ugly anyway. I'm gonna, I, only, I only wrote diplo and was like, <laughs> diplo, best. diplo, and cloth work well together. Yes. I also only wrote diplo. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, fine. What is that? Diplo is all you need. Yes, yeah, so it's plus um, eight altogether. I've got a flak jacket, a cloth armor, and a trench coat. Yeah, you're you're armored to the fucking teeth. <laughs> yeah, I look like uh, <laughs> your teeth posing your way down there. I look like rat in a suit. Yeah, Christmas so, story. All mm-hmm. right, so the four of you are going to disembark, I guess. Yes, I've got yeah. my life um, science guys, toolkit. You're in command while I'm away. Please don't steal the ship. Wouldn't not, go far if much, you did. Not much to steal at the moment, so you're you're safe. Uh, <laughs> don't answer the door for strangers. Wasn't planning on it. I'll keep I'll keep Rami safe for you. I kiss him goodbye. Uh, All right, right, can I get an espresso for the road? Oh. Yeah, it even it, you, you managed to get an upgrade for it, so now it actually has a cup dispenser on it oh, now. Nice. It's, the best. It's, like a, it's like a coffee machine, so like a little paper Excellent. cup comes down and <laughs> so fancy to go. Yeah, so you guys are uh, you disembark, and yeah, it is unbelievably quiet. Spoopy. Like, you can, like, you can, you can actually hear the hum of like the equipment and stuff that keep this thing running. You can actually hear that all going right now. Mm. Well, this is gross. This very same vibe. Mm-hmm. Well, Squid, mm-hmm. where do we need to, uh, where would we find the parts you need? You got a map. It's, it'll take you right there. Yeah, so uh, you have, you have you it's a lot of walking map. to do, yeah. but okay. yeah, you'd be we able got to a get there. But I'll, I'll lead the direction. Cool. So yeah, you guys start your walking. I would like anyone that has it to make intelligence recon checks. That's Man, if only we had it for sure. Yeah. I oh, I have a one in recon. Yes. Yes, that's why we were saying. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You're on literally point. the recon special. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I have that. So it's re- recon and what? Intelligence. Okay. Eleven. Nice. Okay. Eleven. That is plenty. Uh, the streets are definitely very barren, very empty. You are noticing that, again, a lot of lights are on. Uh, it, it's really disconcerting. And it, the way this con it's, it's a relatively small moon, but it's, it's terraformed somehow. <laughs> uh, due to the power of science fiction, power it is science? a terraformed moon. Uh, so, yeah, you're able to... You're just kind of looking around and you just don't see any activity in these buildings. Um, it's just like this one city sure. that's terraformed in there. Any sign of like a firefight or mm, signs of a, a struggle? Sign of struggle. Uh, we'll say with your role that if you venture off the path a little bit. Yes, I absolutely do. Okay. So you venture off uh, just a little bit down a, like a side street. And you do see uh, some bullet holes in the walls. Uh-oh. I communicate back. It looks like there was a firefight here. Mm. All right, weapons out. Yep. Be ready mm-hmm. for anything. Okay. So, you guys have your weapons drawn. You're making your way through. Make a, another recon intelligence roll. Well... While she's doing that, I want to radiate or radiate Seven. to Vasquez and let her, let her know, hey, there's signs of a struggle on on the ship. Just keep an eye out. Make sure that nobody is approaching. Absolutely. So with the seven, that's enough. When you kind of flip back around, because like you're looking at your front and you're checking your your six, so to speak. You turn around just in time. You don't get a good look at it, but you do see something kind of skitter Ew, across the street. No, no. I say skitter is not the right word. I just knew it was going to creep you out the most. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well played. It, it does. It is a figure of some sort kind of. Okay, so not a bug. Size-wise? Not a bug. Person-sized. Okay. Ooh. Scamper. Okay. 
Skeptical. <laughs> yeah, because that's creepy. Or like um, the signs, <laughs> alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 Bigfoot walks across the way. Um, um, would, you, would you like to relay this information to Yes, you? I relay. Okay. It's like, there's something here. We're not alone. Like we're being followed? I, I don't think, I don't know. But I just saw something move. How quickly. far are we from the warehouse with the pods? You've still That's got probably another mile of walking to go. Ugh. Stick are to any the walls. vehicles around here we can commandeer? Nope. Um, are there any terminals I could like hook my laptop into and start to see if there's any um, like no. a history of what happened or like video footage? Or... Not outside. I think we just stay low, stick to the walls. Define it outside. Yeah. You would need to physically go inside one of these buildings to mm. see if there was a computer you could hook into to hack through and find it. Damn it. Knowledge is power, Commander. Does the movie I Am Legend exist in this universe? <laughs> Everyone remembers that it had a really bad theatrical ending, <laughs> but then the ending that was on the DVD was just a million times better. Yeah. When they say through the source material. <laughs> I, I know it's a risk, but if we know what we're up against, it'll probably help us out. All right, I'll trust you, Squid. Let's go. Let's go into... This uh, is what you were waiting for, isn't it? So, <laughs> so it was. Uh, so you got some choices of building to go into. There's a couple like office ish looking buildings. And then there's also like some apartment ish looking buildings you could go into. Probably th- all about 15 stories tall. My thought is the smaller, the better. Okay. Um, uh, the office look- building actually probably works best because we want more oh, advanced yeah. equipment that we're looking for. I agree. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. There's one. You just pick one at random. Oh, wait. But the We're hackers can be planet, in an apartment. So is there any foliage? Um, no. Not in this part anyway. No? Yeah, it's probably more, it's around the rim where they kind of keep that stuff. Okay. okay. I was going to say, if you saw anything cool or anything I that could give us any info. Maybe. I don't know if that uh, would factor in. But Mushrooms? I hate to say it, but we're probably going to get some samples before we leave here. Yep. Mm. That's a good Based point. off of her yeah. observation. Because okay. if Astrid's correct, we may find ourselves in another situation like we did before. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So, Doc, you'll have plenty. I um, <laughs> keep my eyes peeled for biotech labels anywhere. Okay. So, yeah, this office building that you guys picked, it's actually one of the smaller ones, too. It's only a six-story building. It's kind of tucked away a little there between a couple taller buildings. But you guys go in. It has a pretty normal-looking lobby uh, normally the spot where someone would be sitting behind a desk is currently vacant. So you guys, but yeah, there's no one sitting at the desk and the terminal though, unfortunately, well, unfortunately for you guys mm-hmm. is smashed up though. Like something either, it, cause it's also like laying like flat. So clearly someone picked up this screen and just beat the shit out of something with it. And then just threw it back on the desk and then gotcha. ran off. Is there blood? Yeah. Is there anything around that looks like it left the blood? No. Lovely. All right. But there's elevators off to the side. There's a stairwell off to the side. I'll put it to a vote. Do we want to venture further? Well, we need that info, don't we? Needs a strong word. I think it'll help. I mean... Crew, do we... Do we get out of this building? I I think so, but I think we could look if we see other buildings along the way that maybe aren't smashed. That way, we stay in the entryways and okay. not venture deeper into the buildings. Entryways, look through windows. Yes. Try to find a more suitable. We'll do that. The further we go into nooks and crannies, the more likely we are to find something. And I'd rather just mm. stay where we can see what's coming around us. Agreed. Okay. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> so you guys are going up a floor or are you going to a different building? I think we'd probably just go see if we can find something else. Like just kind of continuing on our, on the path that we're yeah. headed. Yeah, I mean, there's another to... office building right next door. Yeah. We'll do that. Too, so we'll do that. Um, we check. Yeah. Okay. So this one that you walk into, uh, the terminal is active on this one. It was not used as an improvised <laughs> weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. so it's on, like I said, this place has power, so it's not sure. like you're going to like weird flickery lights Are there, or anything like I, that. In the last couple buildings, have there been any more signs of conflict uh, other than the smashed screen? You're, as you're getting further in, you are seeing more and more signs okay. of a struggle of some kind. 
Okay. But yeah, this terminal is working. So what would you like to do? Um, I want to, will this require hacking or I'd want to get into their system and uh, see if I can find footage of, of whatever instance uh, happened here and as, as well as um, logs for timestamps and things like that. So it would, uh, but I know you have that intrusion program that yes. you're able to get from one of your agent contacts because that's how I have to make that happen for yep. the game to function correctly because <laughs> uh, normal civs aren't supposed to get those. It's fine. Everything's but, fine. Uh, no question. So, uh, so it's going to be computers and education. Okay. Do I add this plus two from hack from the... Um, if that's what it says, yeah. Yep. Cool. Nice. Uh, 15. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, even with the 8 I was going to put it at. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what she'll actually say. You make it through. You've got surveillance footage up. You've got everything. They uh, really should improve see. this security software. <laughs> 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 nice. So, yeah, uh, you... From what you can tell, there's a couple of days where there is just because you're just kind of going through like mm -hmm. starting from most recent and working your way to eldest I'm, or oldest. I'm assuming. Yes. Uh, there's like three days where there is like no act. It's only in this building, like okay. the inside of the building, and then the the outside of the building. So sure. you're not getting like the whole. Yeah, of un it. understandable. Uh, but yeah, you can see that there was nothing for like the last three days. But then when you get to the fourth uh, entry on that. You see the signs. You can see kind of some stragglers, like just normal people, mm -hmm. kind of darting from building to building. And then when you go back another day, uh, there's more people uh, out and about kind of milling as you're scrubbing through the footage. Uh, that is when you see uh, it happens pretty quickly. But you see something like people just going about their day, normal, 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 old school day. But then you see something just come barreling out from just off the camera screen and just attacks some random person. Uh, and then you see security kind of swarm on in. What person like again? Mm -hmm. Kind of like what uh, Astrid saw? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Not the same person probably. But yeah, are we all hovering different. over his shoulder? Yeah. Like uh, Presume that you guys could do that. Like we're yeah, watching this it'd be too. Easy. It'd be easy to do. Uh, Were there any alerts in the computer of like saying to the moon population of watch out? There's blah, blah, blah. You know, like. Uh, yeah. Because while he's looking at the video, you can be scrolling through that. And yeah, there's plenty of like things of like, you know, try and get, try and escape or something get like to that. Safety. Yeah, get to safety, things any, like that. Emergency shelter locations. Any depictions of what's going on or descriptions of the incident? People are just going crazy and attacking each other is kind of the only communication mm. that was able to get out. Make another recon intelligence <laughs> roll, please. Yes. While we're all huddled up looking at the same direction. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Everything's fine. Eight. That's, that's exactly what you needed. Yes. While you're looking at this thing, because mercifully there's no audio with any of these videos you're watching. I was up almost mm, said, please do so attention. quietly, yeah. but so, I held my tongue. You hear a noise coming from one of the doors on the other side of the desk. And that's when you notice that the door is slightly ajar. That's not a door, it's a jar. <laughs> <laughs> always slightly, always slightly. <laughs> Stop. This is no time for jokes. Um, I just tap each one of their shoulders and hold my finger up to my mouth like shh right and, and I look point at the door and as you're doing that the door opens <laughs> very mm -hmm. slowly opens up and you see the hand that is on the top of the door and it is a hand that has seen better days. Oh, like a dead person's hand. And that is exactly who shambles out no! from behind the door. 